Hi, this is Wanda from Alanda Craft and today we're going to be using up some of our fabric scraps. Now this video is actually an extended version of our most popular shorts video which is edging up to a million views now. However, we know a lot of people don't like watching those super short videos so we thought we'd create a longer version that has a bit more detail. So let's get started. So what we're going to be making is a mug rug and the first thing that you're going to need is a square of batting that measures 5 by 5. We're going to be working with strips of fabric here and you have two options. You can just go for it and not care about picking and choosing specific fabrics or you can do what I'm doing here and just audition different colour combinations. Of course it's definitely a lot faster if you're just a little more spontaneous and not so picky about what you go with and oft times that can look really good. But thinking too much about it can often block the creative process. So I played around for a while and then this is what we ended up going with. Now once you've got the strips sorted that you want to work with, it's best to give them a press first just to ensure that they'll be wrinkle free. And then you can trim them back a bit if they're super long. You don't have to, but we just found them easier to work with when we did this. Now you can also trim them to make them thinner. And we actually went with strips that were about an inch and a half wide or smaller. But you can make them smaller again if you want to, and you can make them larger if you want to. So it's up to you. Now we're ready to start sewing so we take our first strip and lay it face up in the middle of the batting piece and then we take our second piece and lay it face down on top of that strip. You can see how I turn it over to make sure it's going to cover the batting. You don't want it to be uh, too short and then have batting pieces showing. Then I turn it back and now we're ready to sew down that edge with a quarter inch seam. Now we need to fold back that strip. Now at this point you could press the seam open using an iron but it may stretch the batting so I'm just going to finger press it down. And now we're going to place our second strip in the same way and sew it again with a quarter inch seam. And now we'll just add the final strip on this side. Now that we've completed one side we just need to flip the batting piece around we're going to continue the same way on the other side so we continue to add strips making sure they'll fit. Now as you can see in this case the fabric was just a little too short so it did end up going with a longer piece. So you can see that there. You just want to make sure that that batting is going to be covered when you turn the piece back. And so you just keep adding strips now until you've covered the whole piece of the batting. So now we're going to give it a press just to smooth everything out, make sure it's laying all nice and flat. And now for the fun part, and this is the part that I like. So we're going to trim back the excess, so we turn it upside down so that the batting is facing upwards, and we line up the ruler along each side of the batting, and we trim. Now don't throw away those scraps, some will be long enough to use in other scrap projects, and then the rest of them can be used in crumb quilting. And I'll add a link to that video that we have about crumb qu quilting in the field below. Now, and there's the result, and I think that looks pretty good. Now we just need to add our backing piece. So take a piece of fabric that measures 5 inches by 5 inches and place it face down on top of your masterpiece. And we want to sew around the edge with a quarter inch seam. Now we need to leave a gap at the top so that we can turn it through. You can see that I've added a few pins to hold everything together. Now it's easy for the batting and the fabric to slip when you're sewing them. So this just keeps everything nicely in place. Now we just need to sew around the piece with a quarter inch seam. I did start and end with a back stitch as this helps to keep the stitches in place when you're turning it through. Now you'll also notice that I have sewn right off the edge of each row of stitching. I haven't pivoted at the corners. And you can see what that looks like here. We want to reduce the bulk at the corners so we're just going to trim them. Now just carefully cut across the corner making sure you don't cut the stitching that's holding the piece together. Now we're going to turn it through and that's why we left the gap at the top. And once you do that, do your best to poke out the corners. I used an apple corer to help with this. If you use your scissors be careful not to poke through the fabric. It's time to give the piece a final press and you want to ensure that the opening at the top is lined up nicely so fold the edges in so that they meet and then give them a good press. Now take your time with this as it will make it easier for the final sewing step. Now we just need to top stitch around the edge of the mug rug. Now this will seal in the opening and it will also give the mug rug a nice finish. Now we're going to sew around the edge with about an eighth of an inch seam and we start and end with a small back stitch and we're going to pivot at the corners. We aren't going to sew off the edge this time. 
And there you have it, another great scrap busting project. So why not make a few and tie them together with a pretty ribbon or a piece of lace? They make great little gifts. So thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please give us a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget the written instructions are available at alandacraft.com.